Is that Vikram now? Uh, Chairman, last year this House set up a select committee to look into the matter of deliberate online falsehoods. I should declare that I participated in the public consultation by the select committee as part of the PAP policy forum. Now, some of the key issues raised included that, first, fake news is often plausible and interesting, which means it's likely to circulate very far. Second, the truth is rarely as interesting, so corrections and rectifications don't get the same attention. Third, social media and messaging platforms such as WhatsApp have allowed fake news to go very far. Fourth, there is evidence that foreign actors have used fake news to interfere in elections, such as the US presidential election and even the UK's vote on Brexit. Fifth, private organizations uh, often profit from fake news, and this includes only those who deliberately create it, such as the Masag Review, but many of those who uh, benefit from its dissemination, including platforms like Facebook, which um, get monies from advertising revenues. Now, after the Select Committee's um, deliberations... So now, uh, can you wrap up? Yes. So, um, are there uh, any plans to introduce new measures to counter the threat of deliberate online falsehoods as recommended by the Select Committee?